Yeah, and that's how we get the answer. I hope all of you understood that. Hi. Hi. Hey, hi, Abhishek. Yes, how are you, man? Seems like you are looking buried. Yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. Sir, so what's the reason? I'm scoring very well in uh, LRDI and BRC. Uh huh. Yes. I'm getting good percentage, okay. confident percentage. Okay. But cons, I'm not getting good percentage, sir. I'm getting back. I'm, I'm, I'm very worried. I'm not looking for 99 percentile, okay. but at least to cross the sectionals. But I'm getting very, very worried, sir. Uh -huh. Only 90 days uh -huh. are there. My guess is like you're looking for all topics and quants. Yes, sir. Number system geometry I'm doing. Okay, okay, okay. I think this video will better suit you. So we'll see for steps how you can acquire that 90, 95 percentile in quants. We are here to MS here. So let's see how we can help you. So if you are someone who have just started your preparation for your CAT, the bigger thing that will put you under worry is how to handle that quant. So that's the biggest worry. So I can handle DLR, PRC is okay for me, but quant, I'm not in touch with math for a very long time. So how am I going to handle or I'm going to cross the sectional cutoff? So that's the biggest worry we'll be having in our head. So you don't need a 99 percentile to achieve that. 90, 95 percentile, you clear, you are in. There are many good colleges, welcome that. So how are you going to manage to attain that? Yes. So the fix is, you will have to sit with arithmetic topics because you have a short duration, some two and a half to three months duration, you have your CAT exam. And all you need to think about preparing for quant is you will have to start with arithmetic topics. So this is the list of topics. So percentages, profit losses, ICA, ratio averages, mixtures, time, speed, distance, time and work, progressions, exponents and logs. So if you see this precisely, these are all the topics, whatever you have studied in your school days from class 6 to class 10. So these are the topics which you need to sit and you need to prepare these topics, not only really just as topics, you will have to sit with proper basics. You have to crack the fundamentals, understand the basic concepts and then and there you will have to be clear with basic formulas. So formulas in the sense, you do not have to mug up those formulas, you will have to understand and then take those formulas. That's the way you have to keep your preparation. Fine. Yes. And uh, of course, sir. Uh, why do you need to pick this arithmetic bunch in order to achieve that? First and foremost reason, you will have a good weightage out of those 22 questions you are going to get in quant. 8 to 10 of them will fall under arithmetic bunch itself. 8 to 10 is going to be a huge bunch, of course. And uh, the huge portion of quant is going to be acquired by, it's going to be occupied by arithmetic topics only. That's reason number one. In fact, if you are strong in arithmetic topics, that will also help you to understand the other topics. So that is why, it is important for you to build your basics, make it strong with arithmetics. So remember that 8 to 10 questions, it's going to be a huge and your score is going to be spectacular compared. And of course, you attain that, believe it or not, you are going to cross the 90 percentile. 90, 95 percentile is possible. Fine, yes. And one more advantage is you can easily relate arithmetic topics. So they are not going to be big algebra problems, they are not going to be geometry which you have to, uh, uh, you have to have a strong visualization power and solve it. Nothing big exaggerated. So all those are going to be some daily real life problems. You can, you can, you can easily relate them to our daily routine. So that is the way you will see questions in arithmetic. So we would have seen those topics. Those topics itself will tell you, confirm you this. So that's the thing. Of course, just to have a quick stats with CAT 2024 across all the three slots, you can check the number of questions you would have got from arithmetics. So slot 1 contained 8 questions, slot 2 you had 7 questions and slot 3 you had 9 questions. Imagine doing these questions with a proper accuracy, you can see the scores. As we all know, each question carries 3 marks and you attack these questions and you are going to be with these much percentiles. So this is not, just going, this is not something like a, just to show you a fancy, it is a reality. So that is how you have the strength of quant arithmetics. So understand that. Yes. And of course, we will have to master it. So it is always like uh, you, you pick so many things, but with a lesser grip. No, avoid it. You pick very less number of things, but you have a strong grip. That is what you need to do with arithmetics. And in general, you pick whatever topics, master it. You need to be strong there. And your accuracy should be very, very clear. It's good. It should be high. That's very important. And adding a few more topics, like uh, 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 very close to arithmetic, we can add topics like uh, linear quadratic equations, then uh, exponents and logs. They will partially come under 
your arithmetic itself the moment you start preparing for these topics you are getting into the bridge of the world connecting arithmetic and algebra then you can have topics like inequalities functions so topics like inequalities will add layers to your arithmetic so the moment you are strong with solving linear equations quadratic equations which you will be practicing much while solving arithmetic questions itself these topics will become more comfortable for you so you can add these topics also to your bag that will give you a really high percentile and of course don't fight with all topics focus on only the topics that is going to give you a best result best return so that's what your arithmetic does please focus on that yeah fine of course like uh, do not fight with all 22 questions your points so attack those 8 to 10 questions but with high accuracy so spend enough time 4 minutes per question so then that is possible it is a doable thing so you can get a high you need to attack with a high accuracy to attain that 90 95 percent right so please remember that and for which what you need to do you will basically be like preparing the arithmetic things practice problems very clearly take more mocks that will help you so you don't need to be a genius but you need a smart plan arithmetic is a smart plan okay yes fine and so what is that you need to sign up for sign up for our crash course so get into our website and seriously take the mocks so they are really helpful the mocks are going to be the actual battles they will tell you the consistency what you get in you are going to attain in mocks will tell you your actual cat score result so remember that and for practice our sources are available get into our website you have got all the previous years papers everything in the form of pdfs you can just open sit now open practice the problems get yourself stronger at the basics fundamentals concepts and ideas and then come solve the problems using this you have got clear cut clear explanations everything is available for all the questions do that and you are in the way fine people yes of course like uh, for dlr if you are expecting such a video please confirm that through your comments have a smile have a good preparation all the very best if you have good class 10 class 12th or qg score we have taken cat previously and uh, you've done well you have a percentile there hit hit our home page click on your discount eligibility fill this form and once that form is filled you'll know what discount you're eligible for pay and you can start off even in our rather low priced uh, crash courses we are offering the discount based on the scholarship or discount based on academic performance.